Every day, many patients walk into their doctor's offices for diagnosis or treatment of their glaucoma. Three million people are living with glaucoma, and their numbers increase further each year. In order to combat this problem, a new drug has been designed by researchers and is currently awaiting FDA approval. Our tonographer would help researchers and doctors to track the effectiveness of these drugs by measuring the change in intraocular pressure over time. Glaucoma is a very serious eye condition in which high intraocular pressure causes irreversible damage to the optic nerves. Pop! The importance of aqueous humor tonography is well established. Tonography outcomes provide essential information and facilitate exploration of the ocular manifestations of systemic diseases. However, tonography is rarely used in daily clinical settings, mainly due to the outdated nature of the equipment used for tonography. The exams take a long period of time, which is not optimal for the time constraints in hospitals and medical offices. Moreover, prevalent tonographic settings suffer from poor repeatability, which limits their clinical usefulness. On the other hand, data collection and processing using traditional tonographers is difficult because they do not provide digital output, automated assessment of the outflow facility, or evaluation of the impact of a series of known modifiers of the outflow facility. After having first-hand experience with caring for a family member who was diagnosed with glaucoma, our academic advisor, Ron Lasser, learned more about the current state of this technology and felt that there is room for improvement on the currently available devices. The proposed device is an extension of an earlier investigation, and we believe this device can have a commercial impact. There are a growing number of intraocular pressure lowering drugs being evaluated by the FDA that require testing to determine their effectiveness on humans. This device has the ability in clinical trials to deliver quick and accurate results, helping the ophthalmologist select the correct prescription for the patient, reducing trial and error in patient treatment. Additionally, the device is highly useful in an ophthalmologist's office to screen patients during normal office visits. Early detection of the condition can lead to early and simpler treatment. A new user interface with more considerations regarding human factors and ergonomics should allow for greater ease of use and digital measurement to increase patients' measurement by an ophthalmologist and their medical staff. Five students banded together to take on this challenge. Each of us saw this as an opportunity to apply our skills to help people. We pooled our collective knowledge of engineering psychology, electronics, biomedical sensors, ergonomics, software engineering, industrial design, microcontrollers, and wireless communication. After performing a literature review, interviewing medical staff, and testing existing tonography devices, the outcome was our current design a digital device largely based on the fundamental design of a typical Schultz tonographer with a series of improvements that address the series of vulnerabilities of traditional tonographers. In order to fully understand the problem, we wanted to put ourselves in the patient's shoes, so we went to meet with ophthalmologist Dr. Mark Latina. Dr. Latina is a glaucoma specialist and is very knowledgeable about the current tonographic technology. Dr. Latina made it clear that they wanted this device to display information on the computer screen. The first circuitry that we were using is all analog, but the problem was that we needed to get the analog signal into a digital signal that the computer could use. In order to give the user more flexibility with their office setup, we decided that the signal should be sent wirelessly to the computer. To this end, we opted to use an Arduino Uno to take the analog signal and convert it to digital. The Arduino Uno is a microcontroller that's compatible with several modular components called shields to expand its function. We fitted the Arduino Uno with an XB shield that could send data wirelessly to the computer. XB is a wireless protocol that transmits data at radio frequencies between two devices that are relatively close, or about 10 meters. Before we started on using XB, we tried using Bluetooth shield to transfer the signal from the circuit to the PC. This approach was not effective as we had to ping the Bluetooth before receiving anything from it. When we tried to receive the data without pinging the shield, we were not able to connect the, uh, the circuit to the PC. After spending plenty of time reading the manuals of the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth shield, 
we were able to get to get it to work. However, the result did not meet our expectation. The fact that, that it works most of the time was not sufficient to adopt this approach. This inconsistency caused, caused us to look for something new. Eventually, we settled on using XP, which worked well and gave us more consistent results. The current interface consists of a needle and graph paper. As you can imagine, this is entirely user-friendly. Ophthalmologists have to rip up the paper from the device and derive the interoperable pressure manually. As a human factors engineer, I work closely with McCall, a computer science engineer, to develop a computerized interface that was both user-friendly and would automatically calculate the interoperable pressure for the doctor. It was a lot easier to picture an interface than somebody who was a human factors engineer. Bianca provided us a vision and I implemented it using my experience with the programming language Python, which I applied to create a WX Python interface. WX Python is a toolkit that allows Python programmers like me to create highly functional graphical user interfaces. The user interface was designed in a way that would respond to the needs and requirements of anyone on the medical staff, not just the doctor. It is simple, clean, and easy to read. Part of the user interface was a digitized version of the current tomographer, displaying the live updated graph, which I feel is important to note, has been made more accurate because each data point graph is actually a sample average determined from a number of data points that depends on the frequency. It also automates the tedious calculations based on the data that until now has been done by hand. The final example of the updates we have made is that the interface has features that enable the transfer of examination record information between the user and a database. The actual exam record can be saved as well as loaded. The user will populate the required fields of patient name, date of birth, and the preliminary information required for the previously mentioned calculation. Upon exiting the program, if the user wants to save the record, the information is stored in a database that in turn produces both a comma-separated value format output, as well as a more clean-cut HTML output. The ability to produce these outputs is significant, as the capability of saving relevant data from the exam is critical at a time where there is a mass movement for medical professionals to move records from paper to digital.